it is uh, time for a health update on my rare neurological illness but uh, first i haven't been uh, vlogging for a while because i needed a break and also i'm in the process of uh, moving as you may see it's like two days until i move out of this apartment but uh, anyway things uh, have been a little bit um, difficult and downhill the last couple of uh, months i uh, visited the eye doctor and the pressure around my uh, optic nerves had um, gone up so i then spoke to my uh, neurologist and um, by the way I, I have got a new neurologist he uh, put me back on uh, this medication diamox it's been a little bit difficult because being on this medication is not that easy sometimes it makes you so so tired I should though say that my pressure around my optic nerves wasn't significantly higher than before but it was at least high enough so I had to be back on Diamox and that was a couple of weeks ago but uh, I have had so much going on in my life um, for the last couple of uh, months and weeks so I haven't had the energy to vlog anything especially because I have so much going on with moving to a new apartment and that takes a lot of energy for me so I really have to save energy for that and therefore vlogging has been sort of uh, not the first priority for me and I also wanted to have energy at work and I also wanted to have enough energy to go to the gym and that's something positive because I have uh, been going more and more to the gym and I have been more and more out and running and I really love that and uh, actually my um, doctor also told me that maybe I should try and lose a little bit more weight and um, I can honestly say that I have uh, done that I have lost about uh, five kilos in about uh, seven or eight weeks or something like that and that feels amazing because maybe that is the cause for my disease i don't know but anyway i'm not significantly overweight but still i decided to get, give that a try and as i said i have lost some weight and that is something positive even though it might not be the cause of my idiopathic intracranial hypertension it has a lot of other positive uh, health benefits. I have so much to do with my moving now. I move in uh, two days and just my usual luck. Today I got a partial electrical failure in my apartment so, so something is of course very wrong and like two days before I move out of this apartment this happens. I had spent some time with my landlord on the phone and uh, they basically told me that uh, they needed an electrician to look at this. So I'm waiting for an electrician that might not come today, maybe tomorrow. But seriously, it's like two days before I move out and this happens and of course it needs to be solved. Instead of going out for a run, I had to focus on that and it took a lot of time actually because I had to wait in line in the telephone for probably an hour or so. So I have to skip physical exercise today and I can't do it tomorrow and I can't do it on uh, Saturday and on Sunday I will probably not be able to do it which means that I might be able to do it on Monday but I work on Monday and uh, I want to have time to set everything up in my new apartment and uh, that's not really good for me because in order for me to counter attack the side effects of this medication and uh, also to counterattack my symptoms of my idiopathic intracranial hypertension it is so important for me to be physically active because that actually relieves pressure for me 
and I have to do something which makes me sweaty. It's not enough if I just go for a walk. I need to really do something that makes me sweaty. So I actually expect that I will have some symptoms this weekend and in the beginning of uh, the next week. If I'm not able to go to the gym or go to around the next forthcoming days, but I probably won't have time for that. Anyway, I think that was it for this vlog, so uh, see you in the next one. Bye!